Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to examine a phenomenon known as insider trading, uh, which is a phenomenon on the stock market that people engage in trading, uh, either purchasing or selling stock, uh, based on information that's not widely available in the public. Probably one of the most uh, common instances of insider trading takes place during uh, mergers and acquisitions or, um, or just straight out takeovers. Uh, and in the recently a takeover that was made uh, you know very recently uh, July it was made yesterday July 14th uh, 2011 a company named TPG Telecom which is over here TPG Telecom um, has um, proposed an acquisition of Intrapower Limited now Intrapower Limited is a very very small company uh, micro cap stock uh, which uh, as of the trade as of you know July 14th Oh, actually, July fifteenth has a market cap of twelve, a little more than twelve million. Now, uh, on July fourteenth is when uh, TPG made the announcement that they were going to, uh, they proposed to acquire Intrapower, and you can see uh, here the stock price has shot up very, very substantially from uh, about fourteen cents a fourteen cents a share to uh, twenty nine cents a share. Uh, from July 13th to July 14th and we can see the volume over here has increased very substantially once the announcement has been made. It's very typical. And I guess the question is uh, if you look at volume and I guess this is one way you can and this is how I'm proposing to measure insider trading or the possibility of insider trading activity is based on the volume uh, of, of, of shares being exchanged or traded. Uh, on July 13th, there looks like a spike of of increase in trading. Now, this is prior to the announcement. Uh, we can see July 12th, very little volume, 11, 8, 7th. Oh, there's a spike in volume here, 6th and 7th. And then if you keep going back, now, not very, it's very, very sporadic trading. If we go back to three months, we can see there's really not much trading. There's that blip over here on, on July uh, 6th and then uh, the July 13th blip but overall this is a very infrequently traded you know relatively speaking it's a very low volume infrequently traded stock as you would expect from a micro stock that has a you know, had a t had a uh, a uh, market cap of 6 million before the announcement uh, of a um, of a purchase or a takeover so the question i had was well how can i test statistically whether uh, this volume here on the day preceding the announcement and maybe a couple of days beforehand but mainly this day here look at all this volume here now it looks suspicious to me and I see this very very frequently when stocks make announcements uh, and I'm sure other people who track the stock market do as well but the question is how can I test statistically how can I get a probability estimate that this is suspicious p less than 0 0.05 or we can say with substantial amount of confidence that this is unusual trading activity and in light of the announcement made the following day may be suggested to be indicative of insider trading well what I did to try to test this hypothesis is I gathered the uh, volume the daily volume traded on IPX intrapower uh, from th the date uh, just before preceding the announcement the announcement was made July 14th this is July 13th and there was 200,000 shares uh, traded on that date and we can see the day before was 2,000, 28,000, 0, 159,000, 149,000, 90, then 0 and then back 30s, 20s, 10s, a lot of zeros, a lot of days this stock just does not trade anything there's no volume so the question I had was well how can I test the hypothesis statistically that this 200 thousand volume is a statistically unlikely event based on the null hypothesis that there's nothing unusual going on what I did is um, I calculated what's called a Mahalanobis distance squared value which is a an indication of of outlying now it's usually used in of an outlying variable it's usually used in a multivariate scenario but in this case I only have one variable and to my knowledge I I, I believe Mahalanobis distance is accurate whether you use a univariate in a univariate context and a multivariate context 
I think most people in a univariate context might be more inclined to use something like a z-score, and I can tell you that z-scores and mahalanimous, mahalanimous distance uh, values correlate